humble ourselves with calmness of spirit before him so that we may receive comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The hymn is on page 7. Can we all rise to sing? will be deeply felt, especially when Akanitem could not see her anymore. She has been a mother. She has been an asset to this community. As I speak, I think it is rare to find any of her contemporaries who will speak on when she was married and then her lifestyle. But we met her and saw that she is a woman of substance. in the heavenly abode where Christ is the king awaiting for the final resurrection when she and others who have done well will return with Christ on the day of the trumpet that when the trumpet will sound the dead will be raised to assume a new body adaptable to heaven Abraham Chineke Isaac, Chineke Jacob, Chineke Ndedendo Wonde Warao, 
Aine kelegini nande isoli le noni irugi ne zike. Ia di marabu nugua ebe mwera Jesus. Isli mada boni me kahaga gua yoku noge ruole. Ahuru Moses nugua. Ahuru Elijah nugua. Ebe kuna hasi jawa ebe ni sono ne cheruge. Ogu woga. Mama galeba huo, Moses sino, Elijah no, Ebenu soni leno, ni maroso kukuwe. Ona imera ni imera, bunifu imera ba no wa huwa. Ni mi bosa ni lechi ni kiko kule kukuwa imbo chapu. Kai we hari no imbozo, mama no imbozo, mbo ribe tizo sukiru, au no ni oblani ma ya bata hema, imbo wati chuo biya. Na inga bata ebe yonwe eno. Biko gozi e zino la ha ha poro. Yana di yonwe eno. E zino la ihe giga ne wun ime ya. Ihe yonwe ene yonwe ene wun ime ya. Omo, 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 omo. Na ndi alo bata alo bata gana kezi bonka. Ndi ogo gana kezi bonka. Omo yonga wun wike. Omo yonga wun wun brede. Amalaki kwa bara hamba, ungozi kada kwa sisi no tu no tu. Udogi, tu fecha ni hii oblaga achi nazo na ola. Ige ni Emma Amara. Idi wechi kwa tu mune, maka opera ni ili ali leo, onye ba wa soma chwa ya, chwa ya ndo, niko kwenye kama, onye wewe wewe maria wa ya, make oni beribe, ndo wote. Ojo akando kula si emeo, onye wa chini ke ukukwe kumu neno, kesi budo we chani zina hola, magogo kesi mama ubioto, gozi aini leno tu no tu, kwe kuba chita aburu bachi cheta, ubachi hii matu, mama elisiri enkoma, ohani lende mada na huyi juweba, manande na huyi adi huyi akano no ngo no kweba, ni sineli kwenye mozi ke kuri elawa. Tine ke kwe ki hini le da basi e nong kwa ma. Mwende ma na la steba. O wo ye ke enwe yi mbre do poro so. Mi di ube lu siye ba ha si da. Ma ke o wo ye mwena e si ube lu ni a hama e ba. Mwo kwa ya. O wo ye ke enwe plane crash. O wo ye ke enwe auto crash. O wo ye ke enwe slump and die. 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 Na ha Jesus Christ kwenye wa ye. Ka chine ke enku do. Onye wa churo nyo zo atu kwa yu jise sana wu. Meku nu zo ke ni yoma ni lebu che ya. Kona alo tani mounu ni le ye dotona niya kotitra hanso ya. Kango zi nke chino kwa la. Na monso. Biru nu kwa na mbeni le bie bie. Amen. Thank you. Sai mam tipo. Yipa kocha to yipa. Still on the day, Wednesday, Katiba, that you come up here. Man, you can live with me, Jesus, so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Present uh, this token to the family. We enable you buy water, cola, as people receive two people. Please, our hands in the back. They will know um, that they are in the prelate, the seminary, and all the. Most reverences and all the very reverences, and especially our host bishop, because whatever thing we have done, I want to apologize publicly that you didn't like. We are very, very sorry. I am somebody that respects the word of God, and I will not approach up, accept it. I just want to tell you why people are positioning the food, even though some are overzealous. But I want to apologize. I'm putting up an apology openly. 
he will, Mama, when he was alive, said that people come to Keshon. It's only the big men that are taken care of. And even the, she, she insisted, she called me and told me that every common person that comes to his school must eat first before we serve in the Pereira, Pereira. That it must start with common people. And that is what my children, my sibling had obeyed. We have packed food here. We, but we are not telling them to share it. We told them, position it. Let's be sure that everybody will be taken care of. So I'm very sorry if you have acted wrongly under God. I want to plead to his eminence and all that. No, apology. It's apology. My honorable commissioner will speak. I have big brothers. So he, he should speak on behalf of the family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me plead with uh, this eminence and uh, this graces here and all the members of the Executive Council, House of Reps and the House of Assembly, everybody here. Um, we are on a very direct signal. And I know before I give this speech, His Eminence muted something to me. His Eminence said that I'm too moody for his liking, that he will want to talk to me before I will give my speech. So I want to give this microphone back to His Eminence to tell me what to do since I'm too moody for his liking before I will now pass that uh, vote of thanks. We are, my elder brother has accepted the offer. Uh, what I want you to do now is that uh, I want to direct that the food be shared quietly, but the family will not be quiet. I want to a stage a dancing competition among the children of Mama. The our brother, our brother will be singing now, and you dance here. Who got on our one of my for resort. I don't know why. If you are giving food, eat because only few of us. We go for the interment. So when I'm tired of your dancing, I'll stop you. We go for interment. So then I go ask the family. Let me Executive Governor of Abia State, God bless you. When you had a challenge sometime, I was informed by Opoko, and I did pray for you fervently. And I'm happy that you recovered fully and resumed your assignments as the Governor of Abia State. We are very happy with you. 
Uh, well, the summary of the sermon today was that we should all know that this place is not our final home. We are only allowed time to prepare for our eternal habitation with God. And I know your history, you come from a very Christian home. And you know that already. Um, I want to make two requests. Number one, please, please, if you have not uh, actually prepared and submitted the budget for 2021, let the road to Akano be included in your budget. <laughs> please, uh, so that we know we are going to your commissioner. Um, that will be very, very wonderful. I will commend you. Let me tell you, let me tell you, we are not uh, carrying cards as politicians, but I know that if I direct all Methodist people to vote for your interest in Abia, such a person will win because we are very many in Abia State. So uh, let us maintain that friendship and God will bless you. My dear Governor, some time ago, I told Opoko to book for me to see you for two minutes and pray with you. Some of your boys thought I was coming to collect money. They blocked the road. No, it's not to collect money. It's just to pray for you. However, next time I will come and pray for you. So may I humbly invite you to this podium to come and address us. Thank you. The Chief Judge of Abia State, Honorable Justice, Ono Haresa Ogwe, and all judges of the Abia State Judiciary that are here, Honorable Members of the Federal House of Representatives that are here, especially Honorable Sam Onibo. The brilliant Methodist Church Nigeria, His Eminence, Dr. Samuel Chukwemeka Kalo Uche. All archbishops that are here, permit me to use His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. C. Opoko, the Archbishop of Omoaya, to greet you all. Your Lordships, the bishops, especially Reverend Dr. Sunday Ndukwe Onoha, President of Vision Africa to reach all the bishops that are in our presence this afternoon, all ordained ministers of God, the chief monarch, and honorable commissioner for trade and investment, right honorable Cosmos Ndukwe, and your dear wife, and members of the immediate and extended family, all political office holders that are here, both serving and former, Body of Prominent Secretaries, Top Government Officials, Distinguished People that are here, Members of the Press, Omo Chineke Unabele. I want to thank God for the opportunity to be part of this great event this afternoon. The passage of a child of God is a gain for the heavenly kingdom and a loss to the devil. Therefore, today we are not mourning, rather we are celebrating the safe return of the matriarch of the Ndukwe family and our dear mother in faith back to her Mecca. We will fill the vacuum because we are human beings. She was an auntie, a mother, and she showed so much love as she served here. But we are also certain that her Mecca loves her more and has called her home. So for us mortals, 
death may be painful, but it is harvest time for the children of God and for God. The loss of a mother in Africa creates a serious dent from three flanks. One, the family, because our mothers are our first doctors, our first pastors. And two, mothers are usually the pathway for the transmission of family virtues, culture, and those things that mark us out. The main frame of every family is usually passed on to the next generation by our mothers. Thirdly, mothers represent entrepreneurship and hard work. And I am sure, not knowing Mama very well, because I'm a little boy in her eyes, I have seen some of her children. And from what I see, Mama was a hard worker. And we thank God that she saw her children grow up under her very eyes. And she benefited from her stewardship, both in the family and in the household of God. Today, I am sure that we have been blessed by very, very, very important words of admonition from the throne of grace. And I urge us not to mourn as people without hope. We should advise the family to please remember these three things that I have mentioned that Mama left as indelible marks in the sands of time. Should we remain together and focus on the virtues she taught us then Mama have not died and will never die. Because to live in the hearts of those you love is certainly not to die. But if we quarrel and begin to behave in a way that will bring her to disrepute and shame, assuming she was here with us, then we are killing her a second time. I want to thank you for investing your time and emotions with this family and pray that Almighty God will abide with this family and Almighty God will also see that those of us who have witnessed this event today will also live to a ripe age such that when we go back to the bosom of our Lord, He will help welcome us with open hands and say, Welcome, my dear son. You have done well here, and the crown of glory is awaiting you. May this be our experience in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Um, I'm under mandate to say something about the road to Akano, and uh, I wish to publicly proclaim that uh, the road to Akano will be included in the budget and will begin something even in this dry season. I thank the prelate for calling my memory to that and pray that God Almighty will provide the resources with which we will complete that road. On the block, up by our block, when we are on day one. Thank you very much. We thank our dear Nico, thank you so much. Oh, I'm a honey,